Hey everyone, good morning, it's Jess. Today I wanted to do a repotting video. As you can see, my, my Kalea peperomoroides, these really are getting a bit overcrowded in here. I think, so I think today would be a good opportunity to repot them both. They both started off as one plant. So this is just one plant. It's just multiplied to, I don't know how many in here. Um, over the past year. So he's got in this pot we've got we've got one big one two three four five is that a baby one? Got five four five five plants in one pot? Definitely way too overcrowded. And in here we've got one, two, three, and the big guy here. Four again. Oh, five. Five in one pot. So we've got ten plants in two pots. So definitely a repotting is way overdue. Um, it's good. It, it's good timing as well because tomorrow I'm going to a plant swap. So I'm going to take some of these. Um, babies with me. I've also bought these cool pots from a local ceramicist. I wanted to give one. I got these two. I wanted to plant them in this and I think I'm gonna give one to I think I'm gonna give one to one of my friends who's just moved in but I thought I uh, would show you how I repot. How I'm going to repot these two plants and then give you some tips along the way. All right guys so I've got a selection of pots that I wanted to transfer some of the babies to. So I've got here a number of pots that I was going to use to transfer some of these babies into. We've got some nice decorative ones that my dad my dad <laughs> found. And then we've got some, some plastic ones that I'm going to use for the plant swap tomorrow. And it's cute cute bunny one. For the soil mix guys I've got a um, I've already prepared a mix beforehand. What I have for soil is I've got this ooh, premium potting mix that I just got from the local Bunnings and then I mixed some perlite because I find that the premium mix that you get from the nurseries can be quite heavy and so I like to keep the soil, make it a little bit more aerated with some perlite. And then the last bit of mix, I put some charcoal in because this helps with um, drainage as well as controlling bacteria in the soil. So this is the soil mix I end up making. Um, actually guys, let me know if you're interested in me making a video on soil. I can go into a little bit more depth around the ratio, the beneficial properties of some of the things I put into my soil mix but I've also got some fertilizer in here you can see so let me know guys all right what I like to do before also unpotting it is just to take off the trimming off the older leaves so the leaves that have gone yellowing guys a close up of the roots now is a it's very root bound which is not what you want with your plants so I have to be very gentle when I'm easing the roots off also I've got to be very careful because can you see that that's like embryonic baby pilea pilea yeah I want to throw it um yeah, okay. 
Guys, you probably saw me struggling with the um, with unbinding him because his roots are, were too tight. One thing you can do to ease the roots and make it easier to pull apart is to just dunk it in some water or use some water. You can spray it in a hose using a hose, but that will help ease the roots and make it easier for the roots to to fall apart. So guys, that water technique really, dunking it in water really helps because now it was really easy to pull apart. That one blend into three. guys now at this point you would have potted up all your Palais Pepharoides um, so they're probably feeling a little bit um, hopefully not abused but maybe a little bit tired from the repotting so what I like to do after I've repotted everyone is to give everyone a drink of water uh, with a little bit of sea salt um, now sea salt is good in helping plants to absorb the nutrients and absorb the fertilizer a little bit more easier restoring some of your plants ability to absorb some nutrients to help them um, get better really quickly after being repotted so I'll show you how I do the sea soul mixture so guys if you didn't know what I was um, talking about before when I mentioned sea soul this is sea soul it is a uh, growth solution and it helps with enhancing root growth after planting this is 500 500 milliliters and it says to pour 500 milliliters of this to refill two liters of a hose and then top it up with 1.5 liters. Now, I'm only going to fill up this watering can, which is not two liters. So I just got to be careful with how much um, concentrate I use. Now, the trick with it is always go for less rather than more because you risk burning your plants if you put too much of a solution in. So what I do is I tend to um, open the cap. This is what it looks like. It's like a very fishy smelling dark liquid and I will pour about this much. Oops, sorry. I'll pour about half a cap full. I pour that in and I fill it up with water. Now that I filled that up with water, let's go and water the plants. And that's it guys, that's how I would root up, I mean not root up, that's how I would split up and divide my plants. Um, I hope you enjoyed this repotting video. If there are any questions, please let me know. Uh, just drop me a comment below or you can find me on my Instagram at Jessie Pot Plants. Um, but I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!